What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. going on everybody what's good bills mafia it's jay coffee talk back again with another video for you guys yo before we get going i just like to ask that you guys slide up under the video real quick hit that thumbs up that like the subscribe the notification bell make sure you get up in your in the comments guys give me your feedback thoughts on the video that's what this channel is all about so check it out man i wanted to get this video out a couple days ago but here it is now. I'm just saying I'm a little late. But anyways, um, my channel was deleted before, you know, and uh, this time around, I haven't got that much Buffalo Bills content or really sports content out. But, you know, my first time around, I had a good amount of, you know, subs and viewers off of my sports videos. And um, I just want to say I'm going to have a lot more uh, Buffalo Bills content as you guys. I'm a diehard Bills fan. I'm Bills Mafia through and through. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of other sports content once football season comes around. I hope that you guys like sub now so you guys are all, you know, get them notification. Notifications when the videos drop, it, it's gonna be great. I'm amped for the upcoming football season, but man, this is such great news that we, we were able to get uh, Jerry Hughes sign up to this contract extension. And um, I just, I, I really love this move, guys. I got worried that you know we might lose him you know as he's coming up would have been coming up on a contract year again and um you know the first time around well we'll jump back to that in a minute but let's just say for right now you know we know hughes is a great player but sometimes you know when the analytics get involved in the business side of things you know that uh later in you know their career like hughes is he's still young by you know, he's not old by any stretch, but in football, you know, age and everything, and the career, it's looked at in a total different way. So I got worried that when they started weighing with the analytics, with the contract and this and that, that, you know, they, they maybe would let Hughes walk or, you know, thought that in negotiations, they wouldn't be able to come together on a deal of what they thought, you know, that they would pay for him. And, um, you know, we, we might have seen him walk or get traded in his contract year so that we didn't just flat out, you know, just like lose him. You know, uh, nowadays, a lot of these teams play that whole like money ball analytics stuff. And sometimes, you know, we, that's just how it goes. But it's just great that this deal was able to get done. You know, we know Hughes plays with a lot of passion. He's a, a beloved member of the team. He's been here for a while. You know, he... He, he's got a connection with this with Buffalo and with Bill's Mafia. So it's just so great to have him. You know, he's been an impact player. As I said, he's always up there, out there fired up, um, you know, ready to give it his all. And he, he loves this team. You know what I'm saying? He's he's passionate about about this. And, and I'm just I'm just so happy we have him now. If you guys don't remember, man, when he was so we got him in a trade. And I want to give, you know, a shout out to who was everyone help me out here. Get in the comments. Who was um, when we traded for Hughes? I believe that was back in 2013, which was EJ Manuel's rookie year. As you guys see, I did a blog about him retiring. If you haven't seen it, go back and check it out on the channel. It's uh, not that far back. A few videos back. Um, if, if you want, if anyone wants it, let me know in the comments. I will drop the link for you guys. But um, like... Hughes was really, um, his, his uh, junior and senior year in TCU, in college, he, he really showed that he could play, you know, um, up till then he didn't get as much playing time, but when, when he got his opportunity, he really, he, he balled out and showed, you know, what he was made of. Um, his junior and senior year, he had 15 uh, sacks in his, in his junior year and then 11 and a half in his senior, and he also had uh, 31 tackles and um, I'm sorry total tackles he had 52 and 58 in his junior and senior year I was looking at solo tackles not you know the total number of assisted and um, solos combined so and you remember TCU had some really good teams that year so the uh, Colts picked him up in the first round of the draft 
um, 31st pick. They had the second to last pick in the draft that year. And, um, you know, he just kind of was beginning to fade into obscurity there. I mean, he, he played decent, but he just wasn't, you know, it was almost like they started wondering, you know how with guys sometimes they just, they're not the same in the NFL. You know, they can't, um, they can't, Trend, they can't make the transition into the pros and you know sometimes it, it has a lot to do with a lot of other things you know it's just hard to spot a guy who, what he's going to be in the nfl you know the nfl is the best of the best so he um you know there was a lot of hype about him though coming into the draft so they grabbed him up and as i said he just and he didn't realize what they had Correct me if I'm wrong, this is where I'm going to need my fellow Bills fans and just NFL fans too. Like my videos ain't just for NFL fans. I want to hear everyone's take, you know. Sometimes I want to hear uh, people, of course I love to kick it with my Bills Mafia, but sometimes I enjoy hearing from someone who isn't necessarily a fan of our team, um, you know, what they have to say because, you know, they look at it a little different, you know what I mean, than, than we do. So sometimes I like to hear... Uh, you know, a non-biased view, because even though, like, you know, we try to be non-biased when we when we give up um, our opinions, sometimes, um, you know, we still are a little bit like we can't really help it. But um, help correct me, guys. This is where I need everyone's help. People with that football knowledge who, who study the game and, and keep up on everything. And Indy, if correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't there a problem like the defensive scheme and the formations and things like that they were running where they had Hughes at wasn't exactly, you know, where they needed, where he would shine at. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm correct, but I believe that might have been part of the problem. But anyways, back in 2013, um, that was, was that Coach uh, Marone, I believe, and um, Doug Whaley, and um, was it Russ Brandon as well? Was that who we had who like you know made that because you know these guys ain't here no more and we know they definitely did there was things they did wrong but man did they uh were they right about that that they 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 reached out and and they got jerry hughes man um yeah because i don't believe buddy nix was there at that time but they they made the move they traded we traded kelvin shepherd who was just underperforming guys like he he, he wasn't terrible but you know, he wasn't nothing special. So to be able to trade him to get Jerry Hughes was like, was huge, man. And Hughes made an immediate, immediate uh, impact on the team. The first year with the Bills, uh, with us, I want to say he had, because um, I got, here's his career numbers in the NFL. As of now, 342 total tackles, 47 sacks, 12 forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, and one defensive touchdown. That's some... That's some great numbers right there. And um, I'm trying to find his uh, numbers with the Bills. His first year with us, sorry guys, um, I'm, okay. So his first year with us, he had 10 sacks. His second year, 10 sacks. Then he had five in 2015. Um, then he had six, four, and seven. So his numbers haven't been as high, but he's still making a huge impact. And um, I believe, yes, it was the 24, 2014 season when we went 9-7, and seven, the year we benched. Um, Manuel got benched in his second year, and Orton took over. We we went 9-7 and seven and almost made the playoffs. Don't even get me into that, man. Oh, there were so many things about, so many close calls, like close games where, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda, and we would have been in. But let's not even go down that road because we ended up ending the drought a couple years later. But, um... The one year, 2014, uh, Hughes had like 10 sacks. I want to say uh, Mario Williams had, was it like 12 or 13 or 14? Like our whole defensive uh, line there all had double digit sacks, I believe. Kyle Williams or, or if not, it was like Darius, Mario Williams, uh, Kyle Williams and Jerry Hughes. And between them all, I, the lowest I think someone had was like eight or nine sacks, but that whole, um, you know, defensive front was, or I'm sorry, defensive line was doing it. You know, uh, Darius having like 10 or 12 sacks as an interior lineman, like you don't see that a lot. But, um, you know, we were a top defensive unit that year and uh, just like we were last year also, but, you know, uh, Mario Williams the next season 
shit didn't work out. I believe he didn't get along with Rex Ryan. I don't know what happened, but traded to Miami, and now I don't even think he's in the league anymore. Lost the starting job in Miami. Sorry, guys, I ran a little bit. But anyways, um, Hughes is just... I just got really uh, worried, so I'm just kind of rambling on about some numbers and things, but he... That was a huge steal to trade Kelvin Shepard to get him. So that is the one thing that that regime in Buffalo, if, you know, like out of the moves they made, that is one thing that they did that was a really, really good move. And that's a big W, a big win for the for the franchise. You know what I mean? So, hey, they ain't here no more, but salute to them for, for that trade because we won on that one. But um, I'm just really excited about this year, guys. Um, I just, you know, wanted to put this blog out there and share that with you guys and hear all my fellow Bills Mafia's take on this. And also, um, as I said, other fans of other teams, let me know what you guys think of Jerry Hughes and, uh, you know, what you think of um, our team. And, you know, let me know who your team as well is as well. I just like to talk um, sports. You know what I mean? I love talking football. And as I said, that's the whole basis of this channel is that. I, um, you know, like to talk, like we have a debate and talk about whatever the topic may be. But of course, when it comes to football and my bills and, and just NFL, I love, I love talking about football. So get in the comments, guys. Let me know your team. Let me know, uh, you know, how you're feeling about your team, what you think about Jerry Hughes and, um, you know, what you think about what you've seen out of Buffalo. Guys, we made so much great moves this off season and, um, the draft was great. I, I love the draft at Oliver. Um, I love the receivers we got with Beasley, uh, Brown, uh, Foster still like is here. I saw the other day Deontay Thompson signed with the Jets, but just wanted to throw that out there. But that it's all good, guys. I'm just really excited about all the moves we made. And um, as you've seen when Hugh shared it on his uh, IG page, that he is psyched to be back in Buffalo. And um, he's, you know, psyched to compete, take it to the next level and compete for the division and, you know, get in the playoffs, man, and, 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 and bring a title to Buffalo, guys. So, everyone, look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. As I said, um, please, let's talk, let's talk about it all in the comments and um, all my Bills Mafia and uh, fellow uh, football fans and everything. Please subscribe now, guys. As you see, I do a lot of hip hop content, but the NFL and sports content is coming. I'm also launched, launched a second channel that's gonna have all kinds of sports content as well. So hit that subscribe, guys. And as I said, um, go Bills. And throw up a Bills Mafia in the comments, a hashtag Bills Mafia if you're a Bills fan. Um, look forward to hearing from you guys. Let's get this conversation going in the comment thread. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. What we do here is go back, 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 back.